hi guys welcome back to mama soj vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if i return subscribe god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people today video is about son wolu and lagos people hmm. lagos people they drag son wolu but the fulani people the not nas hey not nas people self oh nine can even worst pass then they talk, say, how someone who go to ban Okada for Lagos? Say, someone who no get right to ban Okada for Lagos, is supposed to let the Okada, Okada to continue to the work. Now, a lot of people, both the North Nas will be say, they are Okada where they get, they know they use them for good job. Now, bad, bad something that they use them for. Now, when we say, someone look on, look and look and look and say, even if we want to think about say this, some people they will be saying they know they use Okada till they do bad job. But the Okada, they, uh, some they will they use until they do bad job. But if we they look the one we know they use until they do bad job, and we can't they talk say because of say them they, they go lost job like that. That means a lot of people go they pay me for Lagos. And the only way go feel do not to protect in own citizen. Which way in go take protect in citizen? My people make a tell on now. Some will they let us they understand say this Okada people, nine people, some people they carry wood and they drive, they enter inside bush, they cause accident for road road. Because my people, this Okada now, a lot of people they complain say eh, the way some will look take ban this Okada no good, it go affect a lot of workers, it go as, eh, affect a lot of. Uh, what, uh, people, people they don't go feel the trek reach out, something like that. And uh, I be fold up day now, kind of night that they carry my people. So, what you talk say it be he prefer make people go to where they, they go reach, where they, they go make they reach there late than reach there early. And a lot of people like they danger accident go they happen every day by day. Now, then they let the Lagos citizens understand say they. So when you say, ain't no one see any Okada for road. Any Okada like this may declare everything come up for road of Lagos because this Okada nine that they do many, many secret job whether they carry out and he don't see a lot of things before he decided to talk, say, for June first, no more Okada again. Now, a lot of not now too, they they very, very sad because they know, say, Hand on, they meet them small, small as they don't stop this Okada. On I know so many people will be say he, he, they, he, they, they do what you know good before they go feel all them Okada. Now they they do all this their job. If other Lagos, if other governors for Yoruba land, Yoruba leaders also feel take the same step, eh, it go make sense because someone who say in provide another way where people will be say that they complain, say. They're not going to reach their destination in time and all those things. Whether they come back from work or some way they carry your car, he say they don't provide another option for them. So my people go just like me gonna hear from someone who mouth that read my people. Me gonna hear what he talk about the Olokada people, how we take ban the Okada people for Lagos. Now, so that the rest Yoruba people, Yoruba leaders, also need to learn say this Okada way that they allow for their state eh it they cost many wahala it they cost many bigi so my people make on a year which is some will look talk ah, eh, I think I Lagos House in Alausa. And this do were in May. But this is the first time this year that I'm meeting all of you. So don't worry that we're in May. It's still Happy New Year. Um, well, last year, um, I think before the exit of our former CP, I think we held a meeting as well like this. So I think it's appropriate to greet all of you again. Um, that I'm excited and I'm happy that we can create a time once again to judge or to um, talk to ourselves, encourage ourselves, you know, and, and ask a few questions 
um, at the end of the day. This is meant to be an interactive session where, as the Chief Security Officer of the State, I'm meant to know you, I'm meant to, uh, through your CP, also be able to hear from you directly what are some of the concerns, what are some of the things that we all can do um, as a government, you know, to also help um, the Lagos State Police Command and the various formations of MOPO that we have in Lagos State. All is in a bid for us to understand and appreciate that we all have different roles, but the plan really is to ensure that we continue to keep Lagos safe and secure, you know, for the entire citizens that comes in here. So it's my pleasure that um, I've asked for this interactive meeting today, and I want to first thank the CP for uh, making it happen. Because if he, in his wisdom, he says the time is not right, there's nothing I can do. He's still our commissioner of police. And he had graciously agreed that we all come around. So it's, it's really going to be in two parts. Um, we will have the press coming at some point. They probably just want to take a shot for five minutes or ten minutes, you know, so that at least um, the perception out there could be that, you know, uh, we're not faceless people and that we're all responsible both the government and the senior um, 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 echelon of, of the Lagos State Police Command and the Nigerian Police, we usually have our job job meeting. So we'll give them their own time to take a few shots and they will leave us. Um, but I think before they come in, um, the, the Commissioner for Information, and that's why we're not sitting up, I think he's just done a, a documentary for us. The things that we're going to talk about are things that you all know about. But I'm going to be a lot more firm um, with our discussion at the end of the day. I think he has a 10 minutes or a 5 minute documentary. He just want to show us, you know, the menace of Okada in our system. You know, what are the things that cost us, you know, and, you know, what are the challenges that we face and we see with them. You know, um, when we go into our plenary, we will, I'll be able to share with you you know, in specific, you know, some of the things that I think we are going to be doing, you know, going forward. So, if you permit me, right, we'll just show the video, right, right for a few minutes, right, then um, the, the press people will come in and we'll be able to exit them and continue our meeting. Okay? It's not meant to be a very long one, so that we all can get back to our duty post on time. Thank you very much. Ikeja local government, the whole of Sule local government, the whole of Etiosa local government, the whole of mainland local government, the whole of Apapa local government, and the whole of Lagos Island local government. A total ban, a total ban on this and all of the highways effective from the 1st of June. This is the first banning that we're going to be embarking on so that others know that within a short while, it's either they get out or they look for something else to do. And from 1st of June, from 1st of June, there are, there are LCDs that are underneath them. We're going to publish them. We're going to list all of them. And so we're given the notice now, right, where you can begin to do your recce, begin to do, you know, your strategy. From the 1st of June, please, we want all of the Okada to be completely off this major road. Let people begin to make their own independent alternative. We have actually even provided those alternatives. We have bought last mile buses for them. Those are some of the things we say. They are effective. They are working. We have the medium capacity buses. We have the high capacity buses. And before the end of the year, we're also still bringing rail onto this corridor. So government has provided it. We have built terminals. We have provided jetties for them. And all of these things are also means you know, of alternative means of transportation. We will not sit back and ensure that, you know, criminal-minded people will use that mode of transportation to now continue to perpetrate crime and criminality in Lagos. Life has been lost on a daily basis. Accidents have been happening on a daily basis. There's been complete breakdown of law and order, and they do not even respect any form of 
the loss that we have on the state again. And so, gentlemen, I want to thank you very much. I want to assure you that not only you, all the security operatives, you know, will be joining you and be working with you to ensure that we we'll all implement this agreed objective that we'll put forward for the people. My people, now the video now on a new watch for so on a see what you for inside the video. All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make let me know waiting on a thing for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make sure subscribe so that you don't go miss any latest this way I upload. On a bye bye till I come on a winner's time. Bye guys, that's my next video. Bye guys.